Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will talk about the paste special in Excel. Alright, in last class, we understand about the text function. If you didn't watch the video, I have given link in the i button. You can check out from there. Alright, so today in this video, we will talk about only the paste special and why it's so useful in Excel. We can see in the paste special, we have a lot of things like, you know, uh, all formula, values, format, comment validation add multiply subtract divide skip blank transport so what is the use of all these things so i will cover the important things from here so without any further delay let's get it started first we will start with the transpose what is the use of transpose in excel okay for example i have this data in row I want to convert this all the data into the, into the columns. So how I'm going to do, if I will do manually like this, it's going to take whole years, right? <laughs> Sorry, not whole years, but it will take a lot of time, right? In this scenario, transport comes into the picture. So for that, what we have to do, we will just copy this. We'll go to the cell where we want to paste it and then go to the paste. Please follow my cursor that it would be easy you to understand. We'll go to the paste special and from there, We'll click on the transform and click OK. So as you can see, it, how easy it can be. It now our old data comes into the columns. Okay, uh, it would be better if you learn some shortcut keys as well. So to go to the paste special directly, what shortcut key we have to use? Just select everything. Control C for the copy. Press Control Alt and V. It will take you to the paste special. From there, you can select the transpose. Click OK. So as you can see here. It got change in the columns all right so let's move on to the another which is our paste link so why we use a paste link okay so for example i copy this i paste it somewhere here and now if i will make it any changes here it will update here or no no right so that is why paste link comes into the picture sometime what happened when you will work in the real-time data or uh, so that time what happened we have like you know employee name in different different c or worksheet you can say and uh, you want to do some changes here in one set that time it become very useful only in one seat you will uh, do the changes and it will get updated in another seat as well all right so in this scenario what we will do i will copy this i'll select the some this time i'm gonna use this uh, another location we will go to the paste special control alt and b and i will click on the paste link this one all right now, as you can see here, if I will do any changes here, it will change there also, right? And there is one more thing. This is the first way to do that. The another way is doing same thing. What you have to do, just press equal to select the cell, hit enter, drag down. So it will, it will also work same like a paste special, uh, sorry, paste link. All right. I hope everybody clear with this okay so let's move on to the another which is gonna be values okay so values sometime what happened we have like unorganized data like this and we want to make it proper this one proper hit enter that's how we did right okay now it is in proper form now you don't want this data right you want only the proper form but you don't want now this time if you will delete that it will get deleted all the data in this scenario values comes into the picture now what we have to do here i will copy this data we will go to the blank cell i will press ctrl alt and v it will take us to the paste special from here i will select the values and click ok now even you delete everything nothing will happen see so we can easily check everything right so now we have proper data you change the data using a formula you use a paste expression to remove the values. Now you have a perfect data. All right. So that is the only purpose we use a values. All right. Let's move on to the another topic, which is going to be skip blanks. So what is the skip blanks? So for example, I have data in quarter one data. We have a country details and their sales data. Okay. Here also we have quarter one their country name and sales data 
we have here the Brazil data, but here we don't have. Here we have Mexico data, but we, here we don't have. Now I want to combine this both tables. So for example, I want to copy this. Manually you are not going to do this like this. No, right? If you will do manually, it's going to take a lot of time. Okay. For example, I copy everything. I paste it here. But the two data of Mexico and Brazil got wiped out, right? But I don't want to do that. I want this should be here, but only the new data which I have pasted, it should be come here, right? So for that, we use a skip blanks. What we have to do here, I'll just copy all the data from here. I'll go to the blank cells here from, for example, I want to paste it here. I'll go to the paste special. From here, I will click on the skip blanks, click copy. Now, can you see here? We got all the data, even our old data was still there. So as you can imagine right now, it can be how useful. This is the small data, but when it's come to the big data, it can be very helpful, right? Okay. So let's move on to the another part, which is going to be our paste special operator. This one. This is very, very, very helpful. Okay. First, let's understand some few shortcuts. For example, you want to fill all these columns with the same data which we have so how we will do that for that we have a very simple shortcut we will select everything until where we want to fill it we will press ctrl d sorry ctrl r ctrl r used for fill the right hand side all right so here we have 54 so until here if i will select it will fill the 54 until here so like that you can fill it so what i will do i will select all the rows where until where i want to fill I'll, i will press ctrl r so it will fill everything if you want to fill down for example here i'll delete this for now you want to fill all these values let me change it you want to fill down for that we use ctrl down like select the cell first and then press the control down see it will feel like that okay so these are some few shortcut keys you should know all right now let's do one thing for example i have some values 10 now i want to add for example i want to in this all data this data i want to add 10 more values for example like like you know if we have 54, I want to add 10 and 65 also I want to add 10. So how I'm going to do that? This time what I will do, I'll copy this, the values which I want. I'll select the whole range. We'll go to the face special. I'll click on add, click OK. So can you see here, the all value got changed. It add 10 into the last data. Okay. Now let's talk about the subtract. What is the use of subtract? Okay. For example, you want to minus 10 from the uh, everything. So what I will do, I will copy this. I'll go to the cell. I'll select everything. Press Ctrl, Alt and V. I'll click on the subtract. Click OK. So now as you can see, it's minus 10 from the each values. Okay. It's same like a multiply also. For example, I want to multiply with the 5. So everything I want to multiply with the 5. I will copy first the values go here controls alt and v click on multiply okay so now you don't have to use any formula here right so this is very important you know sometime if you want to do uh, if you want to add something you want to subtract you want to subtract you want to multiply or same goes for divide as well for example you want to divide from the 10 so what we have to do i will just copy this select the cell go to the paste special click on the divide click ok it get divided right okay so there is one more thing for example i have this data now what will happen if i will multiply this with the minus one if any number multiply with the minus it get converted to the negative number correct so let's try this what i will do i will copy this go to the paste special multiply it got everything in minus value but if you want to change all this value into the positive 
for that we use one function called abs so it is very simple write a function like is equal to abs select the cells hit enter drag it down it will convert into the positive okay so that's it for today till then happy learning keep supporting and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much